Chuck P. Seville's finest. What's going on, everybody? Uh, no video, just audio for this one. And I'm all by myself. No Carl Cleveland. Um, we witnessed the fight last night. And, hell, it was so bad, Carl Cleveland didn't even want to hop on for the post-fight conference, man. <laughs> I'll put it to you like this, man. It was what it was. You know, everybody who checked out the fight, we saw Manny Pacquiao going up against Adrian Broner last night. Uh, I put on a rant yesterday. I put on a major rant yesterday and damn near lost my mind talking about Adrian Broner and how I wanted him to get in that damn ring. Besides just dancing on out to the ring, I wanted him to dance inside of the ring. And, and he didn't even do that. I'm telling you, man, this guy Broner is Broner. For the past three, four fights, like I told you, he would dance on, on out to the ring and had this big-ass spectacle. And then once the damn match starts, he just stand there and he becomes a human pinata. You know, he doesn't move. He, 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 he never throws his hands. He'll just stand there. And he'll try to wait for, 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 for that right punch to try to knock you out. But 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 Manny Pacquiao steady bringing it. Manny Pacquiao was coming with it. He um and the speed, the speed of Pacquiao that I was more impressed of by anything. I mean, he still got speed and he still got power. You know, I mean Adrian Broner for the most part, he really didn't do anything in his fight, man. I think he probably landed a good one-two combination that kind of rocked Manny Pacquiao a little bit, but other than that, man, Manny Pacquiao totally dominated this fight. Um, and then on top of that, at, at, at the end of the fight, you, Broner, you got the nerve to sit up there and cuss out the media and cuss out everybody and talk about how you felt you won the fight. It's like, dude, sit your ass down, man. Are you drunk? Man, it, 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 hell, it was hard for me to give him. It was hard for me to give him two rounds. You know, um, Manny Pacquiao just went, he, he got in that ring and he took care of business, man. He didn't even take Broner seriously, like I was saying, man. During the whole, during this whole thing, man, the, the press conferences, everything, he just kept looking at Broner and just laughing and smiling. So, Manny knew what it was. Hell, everyone knew what it was. I had just figured, I said, Broner, this is your last chance. I, I witnessed him training. I saw him training. I thought he was taking this one seriously. And um, I thought that we would get at least a better showing from Broner, but Broner is who he is. Um, it's Chuck P. Seville's finest. Follow me on Twitter, Chuck P216. Oh, and just for you guys, just to let you know, it did come down to a decision. Like we said yesterday, even though this is not the F out podcast, we knew no one was getting knocked the F out in that fight you know so it came down to a decision Manny Pacquiao won and Broner just lost his mind you know he figured that he won the fight and, you know just cussing out everybody you know um when the fight before that was interesting though between um Bio Jack and and Brown Bio Jack had a had a fucking cut on his forehead man oh my god it was like it was like God had parted the seeds Man, I'm telling you, then the blood was just gushing from his forehead, man. Dude, that was a hell of a fight right there. Now, that was a fight. That was a, the fight before the fight was the fight. You know, so um, check out the Bayou Jack Brown fight. I would recommend that one. You know, you had two hungry combatants going at it, man, and it was one hell of a fight, man. So I would much rather have you watch that one than the Manny Pacquiao Adrian Broner, that's for sure. So, yeah, this is Chuck P. Seville's finest, man. Follow me on Twitter, Chuck P216, or check me out on WrestlingWrestling.com, the mothership of all of this. Um, and I will be back with Carl Cleveland next week as we talk about the big showdown between Keith Thurman and Josita Lopez from the Barclays Center. I will have all pre-fight coverage, and then we'll have post-fight thoughts after the fight next Saturday. I want to thank you guys for checking this out. And I will catch you next week.